Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we will learn about implied volatility, wherein how can we go ahead and gauge sentiments? How can we go ahead and identify the risks in the market? Looking at the implied volatility. So now, first we will understand about implied volatility. What is implied volatility? Wherein we will understand it in a very simple way. We will not get into computations part, but instead we will understand it logically. and then we will try to gauge the sentiments looking at the implied volatility so first what is implied volatility it is traders expectations of the volatility that may play out in the future how much volatility traders are thinking that will play out in the market in the upcoming time is shown to us by implied volatility more the implied volatility more volatile the future time uh, is something what the traders are expecting less volatility less implied volatility is trying to show us that traders are expecting more stable future now when we talk about implied volatility it is forecasted volatility okay volatility implied by the price of the option right now it is not historical volatility so historical volatility what it is it's basically calculated on the closing uh, prices of the stocks you can see it, it is more like standard deviation but implied volatility is computed using the option premiums so it's basically historical volatility plus the risk premium okay now how does that help me if i understand implied volatility how it helps me while i'm trading in options so one thing that it will tell you is it will tell you if the times ahead are turbulent what i mean is let's say if implied volatility is increasing that means the traders are expecting some kind of volatility to happen in the market ahead they are expecting some kind of uncertainty to play out in the future if i'm seeing that the implied volatility is decreasing that means the times ahead may be a little bit stable we might not get very fast moves happening in the underlying okay now where will i get the implied volatility so in concept if we just use the search panel and if we just search for iv there are five different uh, tab specifically designed for implied volatility data now obviously in this video we can't understand all of the aspect we will just keep it you know limited for us con considering how much you know how much is required to gauge sentiments of the market and how can we go ahead and trade because there are five different tabs and through each and every tab we can go ahead and uh, you know discover some unique analytic and we can go ahead and create a trade but today we will learn one of the aspect of that so this is nifty so the orange line is trying to show us the implied volatility and the green line is trying to show us the futures price of nifty okay now if you see generally around the budget so the budget comes at uh, 2 feb right somewhere around that zone if you see before the budget the implied volatility has spiked up why it is spiking up it is spiking up because it knows that there is some event planned ahead and that is the reason the uncertainty in the market increases so to keep it simple let's say uh, everybody knows that right that on 2nd of feb there would be union budget which is going to get announced okay now it is an open secret everybody in the market knows that but before the budget before any major event everybody will be uncertain that what will happen in that particular event okay whether the event is going to be good for the uh, good for nifty or good for the specific stock that we are looking out for or the particular event would be bad for the particular stock or bad for the particular index right so whenever i'm seeing that a, any event is lined up ahead you will generally see the implied volatility moving up why is that happening the reason is simple everybody who is trading in options be it you be it you know um, so much and i beat any big trader right beat uh, a big fund for them as well the event is uncertain right so that is the reason the implied volatility it kind of spikes up the options become pricey because there is more and more demand in the market to be to keep it very simple now even if you see this this characteristics you can observe it using you know a stock as well if you just see reliance so over here you will see that there are certain dots which are highlighted certain black circles which are highlighted so these circles are trying to show us that on that day result was announced of reliance that on let's say 21st of april 2020 the results of reliance were announced 
Now before the results, what you are seeing, you are getting to see that there is huge jump in implied volatility of Reliance. From 20, implied volatility moved all the way to 27.25. So now, how does this help while trading? So this helps me in moving the sentiments. If I'm seeing that the implied volatility is going up, that means there is some kind of uncertainty which is lined up ahead. If I'm seeing uncertainty going down, that means I can expect some kind of flat times coming up ahead. Now, implied volatility is also positively correlated with the option premiums. That means whenever the implied volatility goes up, the call and put premium both will go up. Okay, because of the Vega impact, because of the impact of implied volatility on the options. Now, when I'm trading this, okay, I would be knowing in advance, well in advance, that Reliance has scheduled or ha will be announcing its result on 21st of April, correct? So if I'm placed anywhere here, I can simply go ahead and prefer options buying strategies. The reason is very simple that I'm expecting some kind of jump to happen in the implied volatility because of the event which is lined up ahead. So because I know one common characteristics of implied volatility that before any major event, the implied volatility goes up and the moment that uncertainty becomes known, the moment that event is done, the implied volatility collapses, right? So before any major event, I can prefer option buying strategies. And once the event is done, I can prefer option selling strategies, but with an hedge, okay? I will not go ahead and write options randomly, correct? But what I will do is I'll instead keep an hedge so that even if the implied volatility collapses, if there is a crush in implied volatility, still I don't take an undefined loss okay now to move forward with it will also help us in knowing the risks in the market so implied volatility and the underlying they are negatively correlated in most of the cases you will generally see that whenever the implied volatility goes up the market or the stock it goes down whenever you see implied volatility going down you will see generally the market or the stock going up will it happen always no in, but in most of the cases, that is the normal characteristics that we have seen of implied volatility. Okay. Now, how does that help me while I'm trading? Whenever I see implied volatility, it is at top. So over there, the times are very uncertain. Okay. That I, I would be looking out for some kind of volatile movements to happen in the market. So this will help me in gauging the risk if I'm writing options. Imagine on this day, if I am writing options, okay, let's say over here, somewhere over here, okay, on 24th of August when the implied volatility is at top. If you see, if I just place my cursor, you will clearly see that it is almost around its top zone. So if I write options in this zone, the implied volatility is trying to tell me that, okay, the times ahead may be turbulent. It's better. We go ahead and protect the risk in a better way. That means we use more hedges. The reason I'm saying this is because that the implied volatility figure it's itself trying to tell us that the uncertainty in the market is very high. So this, this is how another way implied volatility shows us to gauge the risk if we are writing options. Another way of doing it is so implied volatility and uh, you know um, the underlying they are negatively correlated. So we can also gauge the sentiments that okay if the implied volatility is consistently rising then you know, there is some kind of uncertainty, there is some kind of risk in the market which is increasing. So we need to be a little bit cautious there. Now coming to the last aspect, implied volatility is mean reverting in nature. That means it may not trend. Okay, so if you see Nifty from 22nd of March till the current day, it has moved all the way from 16,970, almost 17,000 to 19,700. Now it is sustaining out there, right? It is. It has been consistently moving in the upwards direction and over the period of time, it is sustaining. So now, if you see implied volatility chart, it will not go ahead and trend. It will not go ahead and keep on moving in the upwards direction or downwards direction. It will typically mean revert. Now, how do I go ahead and make a lot of use out of this data? So whenever implied volatility is at bottom, over there, we will find that the premiums are a bit cheaper. The, I'm not getting enough money from the from the option premiums. Okay. Whenever the implied volatility is at the top, that is the time where I'm getting more premiums to write. But at the same time, 
those times are a little bit risky because of the movement happening in the implied volatility so whenever the implied volatility is at the bottom you know we might expect some kind of an up move to happen in the implied volatility the only reason is that it might show its mean reverting nature and it might bounce up from the bottom whenever implied volatility is at the top at that times we can anticipate that okay the implied volatility has topped out it might take a cooler down approach giving us slightly better chance or a better spot to go ahead and write options so that was it from implied volatility do check out the link in the description box below and access these analytics and trade options like a pro